Hey everybody, John Houlihan here. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. This is the seventh video in the Great Guitar Tone series, and today we're looking at the Rolling Stones classic, Honky Tonk Women. There's an amazing guitar riff all throughout this song, some of their greatest work, I think. So we're going to try to duplicate the tone. Uh, we won't be using the exact same equipment that they used back in 1969 to record it, but we'll try to uh, do it with the equipment we have here. We have a nice 75th anniversary uh, Telecaster and um, a Blues Junior. Uh, so we're going to use that and um, a compressor and a, a Blues Driver overdrive pedal to try, try and duplicate the tone. Uh, so as you know, this, this isn't really a guitar lesson per se. What we're trying to do is duplicate the tone as well as we can. But of course in playing it, we're going to try to make, uh, make the playing as good as I possibly can. But I'm, you know, I'm not Keith Richards. Okay, so a little background on the song Honky Tonk Woman. Uh, it was recorded at Olympic Studios near London, 1969. Written by Mick Jagger and Keith Richards while they were away on holiday in Brazil. Uh, the original version of this song is called Country Honk, and it was released on the Let It Bleed album. Um, now that album also includes the song uh, Gimme Shelter, which is the topic of Great Guitar Tone number three. I'll try to put a link to that up, up here somewhere. Um, now the electrified version of Honky Tonk Woman that we're looking at today was released a little bit later and became one of their biggest hits. Uh, this popular single begins with a very recognizable guitar riff and a cowbell that was actually being played by the producer Jimmy Miller. Now, Keith Richards is well known for using open G tuning on, on a lot of his guitar playing. However, I'm going to play this song in standard tuning. Um, because, and, and actually one of the reasons for that is I think back in 1969 when they recorded it, he probably wasn't using open G tuning. Now there's a couple reasons for that. Um, first of all, back in 1969, I don't think Keith Richards had started using open G tuning. So that's one reason. And the other reason is this guitar riff mainly involves the second, third, and fourth strings. Now those strings uh, are tuned the same in standard tuning as they are in open G tuning. So we're just going to use standard tuning. You guys can let me know in the comments if you think um, I should have used open G if, or if there's something wrong. So I'm sure we'll get to some discussion about that. Okay, as far as original equipment, um, I couldn't, wasn't able to determine exactly what guitar was used for this song. I suspect it was a, a Gibson uh, with some type of humbucking pickup because I think this was back in Keith's pre-Telecaster days. So it could have been a Les Paul or an ES-335. Uh, and the amp, I think, may have been a Triumph Silicon 100 solid state amp, 100 watts which was the same amp that was used on Gimme Shelter. Um, that you can, I talk a bit about that in Great Guitar Tone number three. Okay, so as far as the equipment I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use this really lovely uh, 75th anniversary Fender Telecaster. Uh, really a nice looking guitar, gold hardware, it's got a uh, two-tone bourbon burst. It looks kind of caramel colored. Anyway, it's a really, really nice guitar. So we're going to use a Telecaster because that's what Keith uses to play it now. I don't really know what he used to play it back in 1969 on the recording, but when you see him all the time live, he's, he's, he's using a Telecaster. Um, the amp we're going to use, Fender Blues Jr. with a Jensen P12Q reissue speaker. Uh, Effects, all we have is a Boss CS2 compressor or sustainer, that's my always on effect, and a Boss BD2 blues driver, kind of a transparent overdrive. Uh, we're going to use that, and we have a Shure SM57 mic um, that we're going to record it with. Uh, also, I should mention, we're going to have the reverb on the amp off. We're going to use uh, a plug-in in Logic called Chrome Reverb to try to duplicate the small room reverb that you hear on the recording, which is kind of important to get the sound. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and look at the guitar we're going to use. We're going to use this uh, beautiful 75th anniversary 
Fender Telecaster, gold hardware, two-tone bourbon burst. Um, really sort of a nice pickup they've installed in this one. Uh, I really, really like this guitar. Now, as I said earlier, I think that Keith, back in 1969, I think that was his pre-Telecaster days. So he may have been using a Gibson, either a Les Paul or an ES-335. We're going to use this here Fender Tele Telecaster with the pickup selector in the number one position uh, using the, the bridge pickup. Okay, so as far as the effects for this song, pretty simple. We're using our uh, Boss CS2 compression sustainer. That's my always on effect. Even out, uh, evens out the dynamics. Uh, level at 12 o'clock, sustain at 12 o'clock and attack at about the three o'clock position and then the overdrive pedal we're going to use is a boss bd2 uh, blues driver uh, now we got the level at 12 o'clock position uh, we got the tone at the 12 o'clock position and we got the gain at about the nine o'clock position so it's just adding a little bit of overdrive uh, for this song uh, you, you you want something that's pretty sort of a transparent type overdrive where you retain a lot of the a lot of the original uh, guitar tone without coloring it too much all right so let's have a look at the settings on our uh, fender blues junior we got the volume set at seven that seems to be the sweet spot of this amp where you're um, just starting to overdrive the the preamp tubes fat switch in the up position which is off uh, uh, the bass and treble are both rolled off to three and the mids is at five. Um, you know, you generally want a sort of a, a, a mid-range type, mid type sound. Um, the master is at three, so it's not going to be terribly loud. Uh, the reverb is on one, which is basically off. Now, one important point, when you listen to the recording of A Honky Tonk Woman, that guitar riff they have a really nice sort of small room reverb going so what we're going to do is rather than try to use the built-in reverb on this amp we are going to use chroma verb which is a a plug-in in my DAW which I'm, I'm using Logic Pro and we're going to use a small room algorithm to try and duplicate um, the the reverb effect on the guitar which is actually quite important in getting the overall sound for this song. So that's it for episode number seven of Great Guitar Tone. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope we got pretty close to the tone. Um, please subscribe. Very important. And let me know in the comments down below how you think we did. There may be discussion as to whether I should have done this in open G tuning. I did it in standard tuning because I think that's what he was doing at, the, at that time in 1969. Okay. So anyway, let me know what you think. And see you next time.